Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. In this video, I'm just going to go over how much I got paid uh, from Kony, Tesla, and Realty Income for the month of November. And I want to also wanted to show you the power of like these new ETFs. Uh, so let's just say all poor poverty panda needs cash money. Can Kony and Tesla possibly save the day? And what about, oh, uh, Realty Income? So just to, for I guess like transparency, uh, I only still only have uh, thirty shares of Kony just because I don't want to pay pay up um, when the price is relatively high uh, for Tesla. I think um, there's probably some more room to the downside, so I want to see if I can uh, bump up the shares to even two hundred shares. Uh, I've been kind of like uh, getting like ten shares here, ten shares there. Uh, so right now I'm currently at one eighty shares. And for realty income, oh, I have 300 shares that I've bought um, kind of way back uh, before I found like these new uh, high yield ETFs. So for Tesla, I got $81.84 big ones. <laughs> All right. Some good money coming in. But, you know, I mean, you know, for some reason, for, for some people, that's not, you know, obviously a lot of money. Uh, but keep in mind, there's... This is still new for me, uh, these high yield ETFs uh, at least. And just to kind of show you, because I know like some people, um, you know, Tesla unfor unfortunately has not been performing uh, as well um, share price wise. Uh, but also just want to, I mean, guys, you have to be fair. Uh, you know, this is a new ETF and this, these type of, um, I guess, like structures within an ETF have, hasn't really been around for that long and just to show you even like a really good dividend uh, stocks uh, they can still like be close to like the 52 two week lows so unfortunately like I, I was able to get my um, average cost down to like around the $68 um, but you know as you can see from the chart like even even like a really good uh, uh, dividend paying stock like realty income and, and this one pays monthly also. So, you know, just cause to show you, there's no such thing as like a perfect uh, dividend stock. Like almost every every good dividend paying stock has like its bad times. And unfortunately, um, this is one of them. So, you know, just to 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 share like, you know, when it was like down there, like, like in the in the mid forties, like it, it was really painful just to hold. Um, so, you know, uh, there's there's no such thing as a perfect dividend stock, unfortunately. So, womp womp. At least for me right now. Um, and just to show you from my like the Tasty Trade account, uh, so far I've I've put like the some of the yield max um in here uh, too. So for Tesla I got eighty one dollars and eighty four cents, and uh, for Kony I have thirty two dollars and thirty three cents for the month of November. And then for Thinkorswim, uh, like this is where, well, uh, they're part of like Schwab now, so they're part of the same company. And I've had like uh, O in this account for for a little bit now. Um, as you can see, I only have seventy six dollars and eighty cents. And this comparison right here just shows you like the power of like the the high yield ETFs. I want you to to kind of look at this. Like, um, I was able to get the the cost basis for realty income $68.15 down to $68.15 but still that that cost me over $20,000 um and I'm only getting paid $76.80 per month now even though like the the you know over time like the income uh like from the dividends has increased slightly over time which is generally good but I mean, look at the cost basis right here, 20, 20K for only this much. So that only comes out to like, to 0.37% a month. So, you know, rut roll. So I have like some serious soul searching to do. Like, do I want to keep, keep this around when, like, just look at Kony. Like, I only have 30 shares. Um, and that set me back 500, uh, less than 550 bucks. But already, it's almost like, you know, thirty two dollars and thirty three cents a month, and that comes out to five point eight percent a month, 
not 5.8% a year, 5.8% a month. Most dividend paying stocks would be lucky to pay like five point, you know, well, I mean, just 5% um, in a year. Um, well, but of course, like, you know, these, uh, these uh, option premium ETFs, uh, they pay out, the, even though the payout is monthly, like they're, they're gonna like change around every month. So just keep that in mind. Um, and for Tesla, uh, I've been pretty lucky. I've been able to time my purchases where like I'm kind of chipping away at the cost basis. So right now it's about you know eleven dollars ninety one cents for one hundred eighty shares, and that cost me a little bit over two thousand. But just look at that eighty one dollars and eighty four cents, and this is a new newer stock, uh, ETF for me, and already even with only one hundred eighty shares, like I'm outperforming one of the better uh, monthly dividend uh, paying stocks, like just, I mean, it's kind of r ridiculous when you compare it that way. Now, of course, like this might not always be the case, but still, uh, just like so far, like it's, you know, realty income isn't looking so good right now, especially with this cost basis. Uh, so, you know, TSLY is paying me about 3.8% a month. So I think that's pretty good. Um, well, for now, of course. So, you know, just to show you, uh, in general, uh, these, you know, like, yield max and defiance, uh, most of them pay monthly. In fact, I think all of them uh, so far have been paying monthly, and most dividend-paying stocks are not, like, realty income, where they pay, uh, like, realty income pays monthly. Uh, most dividend-paying stocks pay quarterly, and in some some cases, they even pay out only semi-annually, so only two times a month. And, you know, a lot of people, comp like, you know, Bad mouth like these uh, these newer ETFs and like there's nav erosion, uh, which is true. Uh, it's still a valid point, but don't forget like even good uh, dividend paying stocks like they're they're subject to capital depreciation, so we're we're, we're facing the same problem. Um, and I I don't want to say like for Zoomers and young younger millennials, um, I know like sometimes when you see something that's too good to be true, like you're thinking, oh well, those probably uh, like, is it a scam or is it, um, you know, like, something bad is going to happen? Uh, well, there's there's always that, that, um, that risk. But, you know, like, you, you're you facing risk anyway with dividend-paying, just regular dividend-paying stocks. I mean, most of them are kind of pricey right now. So, you know, like, if I was a young person, again, I would probably, like, put most of my money uh, you know, had I known um, that these things would, were going to exist, I wouldn't have put so much money into, like, realty income. Like, I would have saved some, uh, you know, set aside so I can buy, you know, stuff like Yieldmax and, and and Defiance and Neos and all these uh, newer ETF companies. Like, I mean, I, I think they're really doing a good job, well, at least for now. So I think, you know, it, like, I don't want to pressure or, like, influence anyone Either way, but I think like you should at least think about it. And if you're afraid, like just you know, just try like a few shares at a time and see if it's gonna work out for you. Um, so there's no no shame in like just taking a small risk here and there. But of course, like there are there are risks. Like the the yield max and defined CTS, like the the expense ratios are kind of high. But of course, you have like the like the higher yield to kind of offset it a little bit. Um, of course, you don't have a control over like the option strikes, but you can go on the websites and then like, kind of uh, see for yourself if if that um, like the strikes that they have, like on the trades that they have, uh, makes sense to you. And if so, like you know, like like for myself, I am comfortable jumping in. Uh, of course, like implied volatility, uh, they they can collapse sometimes, like, especially around like the holiday season when when stocks usually go up, like the implied volatility that goes down. So they're but probably not like a good bargain now, but like maybe when there's like a some kind of like um, stock market shock, uh, that's when you might want to consider uh, getting in. And of course, like price, prices can always get cheaper. Uh, the yields are not going to be consistent month to month, and you can't borrow against them. Um, and I can tell from from uh, you know obviously from from experience that catching falling knives, whether it's dividend paying stocks or like these high yield ETFs, like uh, sometimes your, your hands are going to get bloody. So, you know, just watch out for that. Don't get too crazy. Um, 
And of course, like my subscribers are always awesome. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing if you if you like this content, so I can make more of this. Um, and then um, let, let me know in the comments section below if you have any more questions. And I hope to give you uh, more videos in the future. So everybody have a great one. Thank you.